Hi, Wolfpack. This is CS Trades 101. The Wolfpack. So, anyways, I'm coming back to uh, drop this out for y'all. Um, there's been a lot of talk about uh, after uh, after the MOAS or after the squeeze on a lot of these stocks, um, or even up an upper push where you can reap some rewards on it and uh, make some cheddar. Okay, so if you got some cheddar, um, this is what I'm doing, and I'm already in a lot of dividend plays. I have been for multiple years, and yes, it's made me a lot of money. Um, it does compound interest in your account. If you play the cards right, you become the bank, okay? Yes, you heard me correctly. You become a bank um, when you get up to the uh, topper limits um, because you're, you've paid things off. Now you're making the money, okay? Now they're paying you the percentage and instead of you paying, like, say, on your mortgage or car, you're paying these percentages. Now you are making that. So that's what I mean, you become the bank, okay? So I'm just gonna get into uh, some ticker symbols here. This is for dividend plays, okay? This is strictly for making multiple money off of a squeeze, okay? The squeeze can build you is a foundation. This is how, what I've come up with. This is my formula. Um, and a lot of the wolves know about this, but they wanted a, a video out there. So I'm just touching lightly down on it. Anything else in the more detailing, we have courses on this. Um, <clears throat> you have to be a Wolfpack member. In the server, we have um, uh, classrooms in there that we're just working on right now. So this is the intro into that for just dividend plays. Um, so we're going to cover a ticker symbol called SU. We're going to do one Canadian and one American stock, okay? So I'm going to do um, a system here. And the system is, I, I do it verbatim, which is I do every time the same, okay? This is to, dividend plays can be also, the percentages high, can go to the high levels if they're having problems with money. Um, liquidity, like things that, uh, lawsuits. Seriously, you got to look into this stuff. Um, false tell in the market where it's uns uncertainty that they're a little bit worried. So I'm not saying that for ticker symbol SU, Suncor Energy out of Canada. Um, it's the energy sector, their oil and gas, um, ga uh, natural gas pockets that they extract and send down to the States, okay? A lot of it goes through the Alberta border, okay? Across, uh, across Canada um, in Alberta the border so that's where most of it comes from um, there's multiple pop pipelines you can get into but we're just going to cover a ticker symbol SU today so the first thing I do is I obviously pull up the chart have a look at it I'm gonna do the first thing I do is a 30 minute pullback okay I do put this on extended hours okay this one won't let me but I'm gonna explain it to you I don't even need the chart I have it locked out on this for a reason um, because it doesn't trade uh, pre or post okay so look at this big, huge candle that this thing's getting today. It's up 2.56%. It's at $42. It's gonna put, uh, it's gonna 1.06% uh, um, today so far. And the market's been open for exactly one hour and five minutes. Okay, so that's the first thing I look for on this. Okay, so it's sitting up a nice level. It's green for the day. I do a pullback and I see that this thing is an, on a climb. Okay, even if it's flat and it just stays consistently flat, it's safe. That's probably uh, safer than a direct, uh, unless a direct climb is obviously better. But if you're getting this taper, taper, taper down, um, it's it's pulling into the trends right now because we're in a market clap. It's slowly bleeding. But overall, this is just an overall without any market collapses or anything happening to the economy. This is what you're looking for, a consistent line because you're getting two things or a potential growth of, of fractionals on the way up, okay? Anything steep and fast is no good. Unless there's something happening like energy sector, um, say down in Texas, this thing actually went up quite a bit. It actually doubled its dividend royalty because there was a huge draw needed on it. Okay, so that's one positive. Okay, if it's anything over 10%, I start looking into it to look for financial problems. What I do is a one year um, uh, information um, on the company to find out what. You got to do some DD. Um, ev um, even I do. I do it every time I'm going to enter into a position into one of these because these are lifetime plays. Okay, or if the company starts doing better, you can sell it out um, because you've already you'll make money on this no matter what. Okay, and I'll show you how. Okay, it's kind of a slam dunk. It's a catch twenty two. So that's the first thing I do is my pullback. I see that there is uh, it looks pretty good here. The one thing about dividends is there's no synthetics in there, and um, you heard me correctly. Okay, there's a reason why there can't be any because it's monitored by the feds. They get taxes on all this stuff. They get so um, it, it's it's registered with the SEC. Okay because they got to pay taxes, these companies, and when you, yeah, it, it just the whole kit and caboodle is protected by the feds because they want their money, you know what I mean? So uh, there's definitely rules in place on all that stuff. So we're going to get into the quotes on this company. So I'll explain some things here. Here's your dollar value, and then this has gone up 
it's it's changed the change of 1.06 percent it's gone up 2.56 in total for the day okay so i look at the float size not bad right um here's the dividend yield okay you have to remember this is in canadian funds so um i just want to go over this it's 3.97 percent this fluctuates i've actually been higher what it does is goes off of the financial what the company makes if it makes a lot of money they give you a percentage back to their their um shareholders which is called i call it the dividend reward okay and that's where this is here not dividend the dividend yield what you're getting okay so i, I just want to say a, lot, a summer a monthly and, and quarterly that they pay so what happens if this stock goes up of course you're going to make money on the stock right but the dividend this is how much money you put in you get a kickback on that okay you get sponsorship for whatever the country company makes so say you have like a hundred grand in here. Let's just use that number because it's easy to do the math. You get three hundred ninety-five dollars. Okay, it depends on how it's set month to quarter. Whatever, whatever it's set up on. Okay, so it works like that. Um, so I have it set up on my bank account, so it goes into that same account, and you can buy these on a tax-free savings account. Um, um, in Canada, I know that's what it's called. I don't know if it's called that in the states, and it just sits in there and compounds. Okay, so when you get your money from your stock, say you get like $395, every time you get that, it, it, it goes up and up and up and you can, and it, you can buy more back into the stock or whatever. If you're keeping it in there, you don't get nailed on that, right? So, because it's under the same thing. Um, so I just wanted to say that, uh, on a, you'll still have to pay stocks when you sell, but I'm just saying if you reposition, you can actually build up a huge portfolio in there. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, that tax-free and non-tax-free accounts are totally different on that netity. So look into it. I'm just giving you the whole kit and caboodle here on the big thing. See, this just went up another one. It just went up again. Okay, it just went up another percent while I was sitting here. So um, it doesn't, like I said, there's a lot of things that you got to look for on this. Okay, so that's just the basic. Now we're going to get into ticker symbol T. Okay, so this is out of the States. This is, uh, this is a, um, AT and T. Okay, same thing. It's in. It's actually. It's in the green too a little bit, right? Even if it's in the red, it's fine because you're gonna go in and check this stuff. Okay, so here we go. If this one's high, this one's nice, and this is an American funds too. Uh, for Canadians, obviously, it's more expensive to buy for the first uh, go at it, but after that, it just pays off. So these are lifetime plays. I would definitely. Um, I would be on on this one. This is just I'm um, me speaking for myself. Beautiful, beautiful. It's in that area that i'm looking for even if it's down two percent i will still have lots into that because and it's if you believe in something that makes a big difference too the week high is 33 on this we got a ten a ten dollar roughly uh price difference not bad not bad so that means that it potentially goes up to that level do the five-year financials on this too this company's been around for a while but if you go to profiles you can actually check that stuff up they usually have a link to the direct website here so here you guys go and um yeah i just wanted to uh touch bases on that we're gonna do our pullback now for the 30 minute on this one and we're gonna see see that's that flat line that i was talking about okay it's not bad this is fine this is totally fine those are the things you look for wolfpack okay cs trades 101 and this is how you keep it real and um if you need to watch this a couple times there's a lot of information in here um, little things that i teach you um throughout and if you have any questions, just come on the live chat um, when I'm streaming and we will cover this stuff. Peace.